Previously, while talking about the desperate Japa trend, the talk was concluded with Nigerians do hope for a better future, but are Nigerians ready to shape that future? Are you ready? The citizens of the country have suffered so much and they cannot trust anybody as they thirst and yearn for a better living condition. However, the same people who are tired of these trials and tribulations before them have refused to look into the future and get familiar with its benefits. They just hope for a better one. If they're able to have a taste of what a working economy feels like, maybe mindsets will be changed forever. Let's talk about the scheme called money politics. You know, 2023 is fast approaching, which has blinded a lot of Nigerians from realizing that the money used in bribing their loyalty is short term. One can collect the money and still vote the right person, of course, but why collect and vote wrong? In Nigeria, money is the root of all sufferings. Maybe these people are threatened after receiving the politics money or what they think is the share of national kick. Subsequently, no one has come out to attest to speculations of threats. Nevertheless, this is a question that deserves answers. Also, law breaking. We are not talking about Nigerian government, the leaders. We are talking about the disregard for law and order exhibited by all classes of people in the country. This has breathed all kinds of immoral and corrupt acts in the West African country. Today, it is no more news that people escape from prison, make it away with crimes of all sorts, including urinating by a busy roadside, which has become a norm. They never care who is passing. All day, every day, the people blame the government, but are they blaming themselves too? Kidnapping, brown envelopes, erecting illegal structures, breaking environmental laws, forcefully taking away one's human rights, disrespect for traffic laws, human trafficking, empty government offices during weekdays, ghost workers and fake deaths for extra salaries or pensions, lecturers withholding students' correct scores, all because the letter A belongs to them. One would start to wonder if these lecturers were born a thousand years ago. Few years ago, the Lagos government auctioned out forfeited vehicles of individuals who disobeyed traffic laws. Emotions ran high as they pled for the mercy of the law. However, these people were aware of the consequences of their actions. A long list could be formed from the number of laws Nigerians break every hour. Yes, these laws are broken by the lawmakers too, but some are masterminded by individuals amongst us. In Nigeria, every Nigerian has their own law, which they follow. Nigerians advocate for an improved Nigeria, but do they practice what they preach? Are Nigerians ready to change? Nigerians do have a hand in the disruption caused in the nation. The proof can be observed as people carry along with their daily activities. Nigerians should start working towards self-development and discipline if they want a working economy.